Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my August favorites and I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time. I just didn't want to keep repeating myself with products that I usually use. I don't buy beauty products on the regular, that's kind of why I've been shying away from favorites videos. But I do have quite a few things that are new. Most of them are hair products because I did dye my hair blonde, so I need to take care of it. To start off, I have the Shimmer Lights Shampoo for blonde and silver hair. This is a toning shampoo, and it does have sulfates, if you guys are wondering. I don't really mind them, uh, especially because I don't use this every single time I wash my hair. It works really great, and it's really fast as well. I leave it on for about 2 or 3 minutes, and it gets rid of all the orange and brassiness and yuckiness in my hair. I got this shampoo at Sally's, and I believe it was about 7 bucks, so not too shabby. Next I have a deep conditioning treatment. It's by Aussie and it's the 3 minute miracle moist. I have no idea how I hadn't heard about this before. It's amazing. It's like a holy grail product. It smells really good. It leaves my hair really soft. If I want a very deep conditioning session I'll just put on a cap and I mix this with the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask and this is my other favorite and I'm almost out of this one but it seems to work really well along with the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I leave this on for about an hour with a cap on and it really soaks into my strands, leaves it very nice and soft and smelling really good. Another product my hair has really been loving is Virgin Coconut Oil. I use it every day of the week to smooth out my ends. Then when my hair is greasy and I'm ready to wash it, I will put it all over my head, massage it into my scalp and leave it on overnight and then wash it off the next day in deep condition it makes the biggest difference in keeping my hair hydrated. I also use this right before I bleach my hair just as an added measure to protect it and keep it hydrated. Next I have the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is a sample size I got at Ulta and I really love this especially right before I comb my hair because it works as a great detangler. I've been using the Tresemme Platinum Strength Strengthening Heat Protectant Spray. I told you guys I have a lot of hair stuff but I've been taking extra precautions in taking care of my hair. This I like because it not only protects from heat damage, it also strengthens the hair and bleach hair can tend to be really weak and brittle so the extra protection is always nice. Next I have the Josie Moran or Josie Marin um, Argan Oil Hair Serum. This is a sample I got at Sephora. It's a very thick oil, I'm not sure if you guys can see, um, but I do use this every day as well along with coconut oil. I use a mixture of oils to keep my hair hydrated and I only concentrate it on the ends because it's very thick. My last hair item is the Conair Hot Rollers and they look like this. I actually got this at a yard sale for 5 bucks, which I think it's a steal. I love these because it really is a no must, no fuss thing. I leave them warming up for about 10 minutes, then I put them on my hair with the clips, which work really well in keeping them in place. And then I finish my makeup and take them off once they're cool. And I think it's a more gentle way of curling your hair or creating waves than using a curling wand. For fragrance favorite, I've been loving the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. I got this for my birthday in June and I have been completely obsessed with it. It smells like flowers, really fresh and it's also a very light scent. It has some sweetness to it other than floral but it's fairly light, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't give me a headache. For makeup I just have a few things. My obsession has mostly been hair stuff. Um, first I have the Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey Chapstick. This is my second tube, I just used one up. This has to be my favorite chapstick. It looks like this, kind of like honey. It smells really nice, kind of a natural honey scent. I've been using this at morning and at night right before I go to bed and it keeps my lips hydrated. For eyeshadow, I'm pretty sure you all know I've been loving the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I've been using this a lot more than I thought I would. For some reason, I really don't think these colors are not wearable for every day. I use them a lot for a bright pop of color underneath uh, my eyes. I use them combined. I use them as eyeliner. I will be using this palette as much as I can before fall colors start rolling in. For mascara, I've been loving the Voluminous Mist Manga. This stuff is amazing. I think I like it better than Maybelline's The Rocket. 
Um, it's a very flexible brush. It's a really great mascara. I highly recommend it. It is a dry formula, so if you guys like more wet formulas, I would go with Maybelline's The Rocket. Since I changed my hair color, I've kind of had to change my whole brow routine. I love the Anastasia brow products, but currently I have Brunette in the Brow Wiz and I have the little brow duo in Brunette as well, I believe. I still use a light shade, but it's a little bit warm for me. So I got Max Omega Eyeshadow. This is a light ashy color and I use this to fill in my brows. If I need a sharper edge more in the outer corners, I go to the Brow Wiz very lightly. Um, and then that works for me in the meantime while I get new brow products. Lastly, I have the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus. I've been using this every single day instead of foundation. This works really great in really humid and warm and yucky climates because my skin still feels like skin. It's very light and it gives me great coverage. If you guys are wondering how this looks or how it works, I did a first impressions video which I will leave a link in the info box down below. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate the support. And subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Bye.